The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for number one contendership for the United Television Championship, and will be contested under candy cap rules. Introducing first from Gaines City, Tennessee, weighing at 255 pounds, the Gun Show, Brett Michaels. What a way to kick things off. Todd Kennelly, Blake Troop, joined by Dustin Starr. And Dustin, a golden opportunity here for the gun show. Gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the gun show. And as Brett Michaels likes to say, boom! This is huge. This is huge not only for Brett Michaels, but this is huge for championship wrestling from Memphis. And introducing his opponents at a combined weight of 4,012 pieces of rock candy, Flex McCallion, and everlasting Richie Slade, Beef Candy. Well, when you face Beef Candy, you're going to have a sweet tooth whether you want one or not because now you have to face not 50%, but 100% of Beef Candy under these, get this, Dustin, candy cap rules. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So what is this? This is very questionable matchmaking. I know you do things a little bit differently here in Hollywood, but come on now. Is well, this two on one? It is. It is a candy cap match. It's two on one. They don't even necessarily need to tag, and I'm sure Flex will tell us more about it. Oh, boy. Cut the music. Cut the music. So this is the Cobra Cup winner, huh? This is Memphis Finest, and he just automatically gets a contender's match for a championship belt here in Hollywood. You're looking at the former Hollywood Heritage Champion and next overall everything champion, Richie Slade, Flex McCallion. We are Beef Candy. There you have it, stage is set. High stakes matchup here as the number one contendership for Levi Shapiro's United Television title on the line, as I mentioned, Huge opportunity for the gun show, but a big hurdle to jump here, including the former Heritage Champion, Richie Slade, along with Flex. Huge hurdle. I don't care how big you are, how tough you are, how strong you are, two on one is never easy for anybody. But I will say this, Brett Michaels outlasted everybody in the Cobra Cup tournament, walked away with that trophy, and also he's been battling Alan Steele and Johnny Dotson two on one and the Hollywood Horror Show, which is four on one. So if there's anybody that, that I feel confident about in this situation, it's that man right there, Gun Show Brett Michaels. You guys keep saying huge challenge. You want to know what's huge? It's that man's arms right there. No wonder they call him the Gun Show. That's a challenge. How are they going to deal with those guns right there? Which one's bigger? Is it Brett Michaels' guns or is it Beef Candy's ego? You know, that's a great question. I'm that's not sure too one. many things can match Beef Candy's ego. That's for certain. I don't think the room's big enough for Beef Candy's ego. And, and we'll see maybe a test of strength here with, uh, with Flex and, and Brett Michaels here. And, but again, so much on the line here. And Blake, let's talk strategy. If it's you, you're taking on two opponents at the same time. What do you do strategy-wise? I'm going to try and keep one of them between the other one. So only one can get to me at a time. If they're able to flank him and get him from multiple sides at a time, I think it'll be a big disadvantage for Brett Michaels. He needs to continue to use his wheels. And now we got the uh, Greco-Roman knuckle lock here, the height advantage, and apparently the strength advantage goes to the gun show, putting those arms to good work. Now, wow. I, I know Flex is in fantastic shape, but I would never, ever, ever <laughs> do a test of strength with Brett Michaels, even if it is two on one. Well, you had Richie Slade got involved there, which gave the temporary advantage 
two flex and now advantage beef candy and here you see the numbers game come into play yeah head to head i would t i would put my money on brett michaels all day but both of his hands being tied up in that test of strength left his oh. face wide open for richie slade to come in and attack insult to injury there yeah. the candy put in the Rake mouth in the face raking the mouth throwing candy in his face you know brett michaels doesn't eat candy uh, <laughs> certainly not by the looks <laughs> Look of his him. physique and uh, i'll tell you what you know, you got Beef Candy switching gears. Richie Slade, former Heritage Champion. Now they have an opportunity at the television title if they get past the gun show, but that's a big if. But again, look at this. Right off the bat, double teaming, the double blatant choke, and Michael's in trouble. Michaels has got to get back on his feet. If he stays down on the ground like this, he will continue to absorb damage, especially the way that Beef Candy likes to tag team him. I think D Dustin, I think Blake right, is right there just getting picked apart. Oh, absolutely. You've got you've got one guy barking orders and choking, and as soon as he wants to flex and brag, the other one jumps in there, and then they jump on him together. But like I said, if there's anybody that I feel confident about in this situation, it is Brett Michaels. I wonder if Michaels watched some film because Jordan Cruz proved that it is possible to contend with both members of Beef Candy and be successful. Saw that just last week, but easier said than done right now for the gun show who's having one heck of a time. Yeah, he was able to fight himself back to his feet there, but quickly gets put back down by the Candy Cap double team. A candy shot cap. at the <laughs> television title hanging in the balance. We gotta take a break, we'll be back. At Car Shield, we're always looking for the brightest talent. Thank you for calling Car Shield. How may I help you? This style and profile and limousine ride, wheel and deal and son of a gun is here to tell you that Car Shield administrators make sure you don't have to pay for expensive auto repairs. Woo! We want our employees to be themselves. Woo! We encourage teamwork. And woo! Where's my yogurt? Woo! How'd that taste? But at the end of the day, it's all about the customer. Car Shield's doing it better than anybody else alive. They're the money saving, roadside assisting, tow truck getting. Rental car providing, son of a guns protecting you from expensive car breakdowns. And one more thing, car shield cars go farther. Woo! Call 800-952-1286. Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling tonight. It all goes down at the Wrestle Center. It's Memphis Wrestling Saturday night live. Join us as we crown our first ever Memphis Tag Team Champions. Plus, we have a loaded night of action. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Bell time is 7 p.m. Then, tomorrow, June 20th, Watch WWE Hell in a Cell with us absolutely free at Dave and Buster's in Memphis. Plus, you'll get a free game card. June 26th, WWE alumni Swoggle is headed to Commerce Street Market in Hernando for a free day of Memphis wrestling. Five big matches, plus enjoy Mem Pops, Two Buck Grilled Cheese Truck, live music, and the best deals in town. Our next live TV taping is July 11th, and tickets are available at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Welcome back everyone. Shot at the television title on the line. Things are going from bad to worse for Brett Michaels of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Dustin, it, your thoughts? It is a Beale Street beatdown, if you will, in the corner right now, and it was during the break. Two on one, that's tough for anybody, even Brett Michaels. What's Richie Slade doing? He's grabbing a microphone You see, there. what you see today is a little taste of succulents. What you see today is a little taste of what the future holds for anyone that gets in the way of Beef candy, beef candy. Well, there's that candy. ego we spoke of. Go ahead and say it, Todd. Beef. Go ahead. No, no, I'm say good. It. No, you're good. Blake. Oh, look out here! Oh, hey Richie now. Slade comes out to talk a little bit of smack, and Brett Michaels gets some offense, and he needs to watch his back here, though. Richie's coming in on him. Now it wasn't that gun show lariat, but caught him with a clothesline, nonetheless. And that is a, a dangerous weapon. 
for, yeah. for Brett Michaels. Look out here, power on display. Good old fashioned atomic drop, making Richie Slade pay the price. A candy crush indeed, gentlemen. And another one, Brett Michaels holding his own in there, two on one, and when he loads up that gun show lariat, Boom! All it takes is three seconds to win, guys. Yeah, what incredible power he has. You saw him hit Flex one time, and Flex is still wobbled on the outside of the ring right now. You know, another thing, we don't see... Oh, oh my, my gosh! The, the Bulldog there, the distraction play. Flex was calling for a timeout, and Richie Slade off the apron absolutely laid out the gun show. That is carpet and concrete floor. That's it. No padding down there. Bulldog right onto the floor. Boy, bringing a whole new meaning to gun control here. Beef Candy in firm control of this matchup with a shot at the TV title on the line. If they just drag Michaels and get him into the ring, which is exactly what they're doing, he might be ripe for the picking here. Off, off the candy apple tree. Here we go, two, three on the way, no! Kick out with Powerful authority. Off. Yeah, pick, uh, yes. And again. And here you see the candy cap rules. Now a Wait double a second, pin. now is that legal? A double pin, totally legal under candy cap rules. Jamie Iovine or Nico Marquez, who's making these rules here? So the two guys can pile on top of Brett for the pin? Uh, under, under these rules. There that was sounds a, fair. There was, sounds a, fair. A, there was a loophole in that contract, but... I you know, if that bulldog slam on the outside and then double pin didn't put Brett Michaels away, I don't know what they're going to have to do if they want to win this matchup. This might do it. The candy drop if he can hit it. Uh-oh. Meeting of the lemon heads. Brett's not done just yet. I was going to say earlier, we don't see Flex in competition that often. Oh, wow. Oh, here we go. Look at this power. Maybe for good reason. Oh, my gosh. The boot. And then just dropped. Flex unceremoniously. Wow. Sent him all the way to the molasses swamp in a hurry. Brett Michaels has that look on his face. Big wow. spine buster from the gun show. Planted Richie Slade on that one. And, but there you go, boy, Flex digging down deep for the last second save there after getting absolutely wiped out. And you're right, you know, if this was a one-on-one -on -one contest. That could have been it. It could have been it, or it, you would have had the time, Brett Michaels, to set up the gun show. But when you got that two-on-one situation, he had to call the audible and go for the cover. Yeah, Brett Michaels has got to do something to separate these two, whether it's throw one out of the ring, knock one of them out or something, but he needs to be able to separate these Ooh. two so he can put one of them away. That was a big kick by Richie Slade right to the to side the, of the neck. Oh, man. And, you know, Brett Michaels has wasted no time since arriving here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. He's, he's won a tech. Whoa! Oh, there we <laughs> Gun show lariat! Tick, tick, boom! We have a new number one contender for the United TV title. Here is Brett your Michaels. winner, Brett Michaels! Let's take a look back at the action brought to you by Car Shield. Car Shield cars go farther, and here you see it the Spine Buster, the Turning Point, and then the Gun Show Lariat. Wow, 360 degrees of wind up, and it takes Richie Slade's head clean off. Hey, Levi, get ready. The Gun Show's coming for you. Levi telling Michaels to take his spot in line. He's at the head of the line. He's got a date with destiny with the television champion. Oh, More yeah. to come on Championship Wrestling. We're just getting started. Jack Farmer standing by. Please allow me to welcome my guest returning to Championship Wrestling. It's Vinny Wasco. Vinny. Jack, thanks I for having me. I'm excited to have you back. I know the fans are excited to back. You're about ready to have a match with Robin Shaw. Tough task. How are you feeling? Well, I'm excited to be back here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. It's been quite some time since I've been here. Robin Shaw is a big task to get through. I've been seeing him on the program. Uh, you know, when I was here before, I just had a different approach. Throughout this whole pandemic, I've been training different. My weight training has been different. This whole lockdown, I've had a different approach, and I'm ready to be back here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jack, Jack Banning. Jack Farmer. Nice name. Nice suit. Vinny. Your lockdown was good, was it not? Mine, glad you asked, was life-changing. I was once a lot like you, Vinny. 
I was full of hope. I was a little wet behind the ears. I needed guidance. And the sooner you realize this company, this business, and this entire world don't care about you, the better off you'll be. <laughs> because as soon as I found out that I was nothing and that no one cared about me, well, that's when I got my job here, actually. I played things to my advantage. I played a certain golden boy like a fiddle and he demanded a match with me and then I signed on the dotted line. Ever since my lockdown, I, I've gone nowhere but up. You'll get there too. When you get cast aside, when you realize no one cares about you and you feel like you've hit rock bottom, come find me. Tell me I was right. Saturday at noon, Memphis legend Dave Brown returns to Memphis Wrestling. Dave calls the action and has a big surprise. That's Saturday at noon on CW30 Memphis. Dave and Buster's is the coolest place to eat, drink, play, and watch WWE Hell in a Cell. Join us Sunday, June 20th. It's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free game card. That's Dave and Buster's Wolf Chase. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the City of Roses, weighing in at 240 pounds, Vinny Wasco. Since returning, Vinny Wasco has impressed. Nothing to be ashamed of. Had a great showing against Dom Kubrick, but a meeting with Jack Banning is something that could make anybody question their direction in life. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little shaken up, and Jack wasn't talking to me, so let's see if Vinny Wasco can get his head straight, focus on the match at hand. And introducing his opponent from Agua Dulce, California, weighing in at 348 pounds, Sweet Robin Shaw. Robin Shaw making his way to the ring for action, but who is this flanking him? I'm, I'm not I'm not sure Robin Shaw though certainly I mean that smile whatever you want to call it sick in his actions of late but yeah who is this leading him now down to the ring he looks like some shady character though I'll tell you what with that shirt and the cane I don't trust him I don't trust him one bit well and I want if I'm him I want not trust Robin Shaw we've seen what he's done what he's done with his friends in the past most notably, the Friendship Farm. Yeah, continuing new look and new bad attitude from Robin Shaw. Just looks so pleased with himself and the turn that he has taken, turning on his friends, literally. Absolutely attempt to squash and end the career of Gentleman Jervis. And then, of course, at Coastline Clash, you had Darwin Finch and Jervis team up to try and take down this behemoth. Easier said than done, but that is the task of the day for one Vinny Wasco, who is a great athlete, very powerful, but not powerful enough as he is shoved to the mat there by the big man, Sweet Robin Shaw with that maniacal smile. Yeah, so Vinny Wasco is a pretty big guy, and I bet he's used to being the bigger of the two competitors inside of the ring, but not today with Robin Shaw. Robin Shaw appears to have a significant size advantage over Vinny Wasco, and I wonder how Vinny's gonna deal with it. He tried to go head to head early on and got tossed, and now he's just eating shots in the corner. He's gonna have to figure out some type of strategy as he is trapped in the corner Robin Shaw, nothing sweet about the shots that Wasco is sustaining. No doubt about it, and now a clothesline, nowhere to go. You know, just when you thought maybe Wasco could get some light at the end of the tunnel. It's a freight train coming his way. Spinning elbow there by Shaw into the cover and digging down deep just to get out of that, from under that massive body weight is Wasco, but Wasco in a whole world of trouble in the early going. Yeah, Wasco used to be able to go head to head with guys, but as we've seen thus far in the matchup, he cannot do that with Robin Shaw. He has got to pick up his speed and agility and prevent himself from getting connected to Shaw. Because the last time they were connected, he caught some frequent flyer miles. And another pin attempt by Shaw. Again, using all that body weight. You know, when Shaw, Shaw was impressive when he was with the Friendship Farm. But, you know, he would, he would look for the, the hug. He was fun-loving. He was talking to Darwin Finch about cotton candy plants. 
Now this guy knows how big, how bad, how dangerous he is, and that doesn't bode well for anyone who's in the ring with him. Yeah, mean streak, just a mile wide, so much aggression. I mean, look at his eyes in the ring, just he's sick, and Wasco rightfully unloading with everything he's got, trying to create some distance, but Robin Shaw able to shake it off and firing right back. Yeah, again, Wasco tries to go head to head with Shaw, and that's not what he needs to oh! be. Was Wasco was looking, Wasco was looking for that springboard cross body. We saw it uh, hit and executed against Kubrick, but he, he slipped up there and paid for it in a big way, got crushed. Slight miscalculation. Robin Shaw was right there to capitalize. Wasco looks out. Oh, drop in the leg. Forget about it, excuse me, but look at the heart on display by Wasco kicking out, I don't know. If that's a sound strategy Man, at this the point. smile on Robin Shaw's face is just like a maniac. He's enjoying dishing out this damage. We have seen a much different Robin Shaw, as you guys have mentioned. And I almost think the turning point in his career was that beating he took from Chris Dickinson. Oh, what a shot from Shaw right to Wasco. I, I think I agree with you, TK. Kicking out of that leg drop might not have been the smart strategy for the long-term health of Vinny Wasco's career as Robin Shaw is just teeing off. He, Vinny Wasco can't even defend himself. Yeah, Blake, I think Allison Lee, the official here, are gonna have to see if Wasco can intelligently defend himself, but just when you think he's out on his feet, he finds a way to end these counter strikes, and now going for the crossbody, hits it, takes the big man down. Look out here, upset city, oh. no! He finally gets the big man on his back. He needs to get up and continue to implement offense while he has this window of time open. If he allows Robin Shaw to get back up and get composed, it could be another, whoa, big splash! He needs to continue these attacks. Into the cover now. The splash turnabout was fair play on that one. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You got to be impressed with Vinny Wasco. Just two incredible near falls. Vinny Wasco almost picking up the victory. Two separate occasions, but to Blake's point, he's got to stay on him. He's got to keep capitalizing, keep mounting that offensive before Robin Shaw can get more of those power strikes in to wit. Yeah, I would have liked to have him, him, see him try and keep Robin Shaw on the ground because now that Robin's back on his feet, he has the Ooh. ability to really start implementing offense. On his back, though, he it's much harder to do that. Again, that smile, and there it is. Sweet victory on the button. And then again, that smile looks like Private Pile mixed with the Cheshire Cat. And now look at the cross faces. He's out. Oh, no. We've He's, seen this. That vice. That vice. Imagine the pressure on the temples, and he has to tap. Here is your winner, Sweet Robin Shaw. Dominant victory. You got to admire the heart of Vinny Wasco, but in the end, it's tough to measure up to this big man. Let's look at the action brought to you by CarShield. CarShield cars go further. How about the sweet victory, the agility on the kick, and then take us through this vice. Beautiful. So you saw him land this spinning kick here, and it, to me it looked like Vinny Wasco was out, but Robin Shaw wasn't finished. He ended up finishing off with the submission. Emily May standing by, don't envy her, take it away. Sweet Robin Shaw, you've been on such an incredible win streak lately, uh, but what makes you think that you need to bring this mystery associate to the ring with you? Why don't you ask him yourself? Uh, okay, well. First off, my name is Jackson Calhoun. And as for why I'm here, I think we all just witnessed that. You see, Miss May, when opportunity comes knocking, you don't just let your butler answer the door. No. You invite her in, pour a tall glass of sweet tea and bourbon. You see, when I first got here, I saw the bright lights. I saw the big city, but I saw the big man. Sweet Robin Shaw Daddy. He is what led me here to the United Wrestling Network. See, if there's one thing you didn't know about me, Ms. May, is that I know money when I see it. I saw someone worth investing in. I knew it was time to stop playing games and start adding commas to that bank account. You see, it was time to get off that dilapidated farm, and it was time to move on up to the big leagues. You see, if you need to diversify your portfolio, look no further. We're riding that rocket straight to the top, Daddy. 
Now, if you'll excuse us, we got a dinner to make. We don't want to leave Matthew McConaughey waiting. Come on, sweet Robert, let's get out of here. I got the limo outside. What's for dinner? Boo all you want. All I see are dollar signs. The overcharger can charge for expensive car repairs because your warranty expired and there's nothing you can do about it. And overcharging your days are done. Woo! The Nature Boys teamed up with CarShield, the Bill Loren, mechanic of your choosing, Auto Avenger, and we're treating bullies like him to a buffet of woo! CarShield cars go farther. Woo! Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling tonight. It all goes down at the Wrestle Center. It's Memphis Wrestling Saturday Night Live. Join us as we crown our first ever Memphis Tag Team Champions. Plus, we have a loaded night of action. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Bell time is 7 p.m. Then, tomorrow, June 20th, Watch WWE Hell in a Cell with us absolutely free at Dave and Buster's in Memphis. Plus, you'll get a free game card. June 26th, WWE alumni Swoggle is headed to Commerce Street Market in Hernando for a free day of Memphis wrestling. Five big matches, plus enjoy Mempops, Two Buck Grilled Cheese Truck, live music, and the best deals in town. Our next live TV taping is July 11th, and tickets are available at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Memphis Wrestling is headed to Hernando, Mississippi for Summer Showdown at Commerce Street Market. Meet and watch former WWE star, Swoggle. Hey guys, former WWE superstar Horn Swoggle here, June 26th. The Commerce Street Market, Memphis Wrestling, I'm going to be there. Come on out, it's absolutely free. Free, free wrestling. Come on out, come say hey, watch some awesome wrestling. We'll see you June 26th. It's free! The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Phoenix, Arizona, she is the belle of the brawl, Bryn Thorne. Bryn Thorne, very impressive in her championship wrestling from Hollywood debut against Viva Van. Looked to have things all cinched up for the one, two, three until Dom Kubrick came in, reversed the, the uh, pin, leading to Thorne losing that matchup. Yeah, they, I mean, the maelstrom that is the women's division, more chaos in that matchup, but certainly a strong showing, even though she did not get the result that she wanted. And introducing her opponent from Brisbane, Australia, Cece Chanel. But I'll tell you what, Bryn Thorne, the bell of the ball, should get a fair shake and great competition in this one because Cece Chanel just so happy to be free of that contract of Jamie Iving, free to compete the way she sees fit. And this has the makings of a good one here, gentlemen. Yeah, renewed zeal on the face of CeCe Chanel now every time she comes out. I, you know, I mean, I don't want to overstep, but one of, I think, the saviors now of this women's division fighting for what is right for them. Yeah, she definitely has a big smile on her face and a glow that we haven't seen since that whole contract debacle with Jamie. Certainly has been hot on the trail, though, of the Hellbent Vixen Viva Van after what has transpired between them, including at Halston Body's Coastline Clash, in which Viva Van got the victory with controversy, which seems to be somewhat of an epidemic as of late. And now, she, it's there we see it. You see the class on display, mutual respect. That is refreshing to see in the women's division. No doubt about it, sportsmanship on display. We would expect nothing less from CeCe Chanel and Bryn Thorne here as they get it going. Bryn Thorne, a 19-year-old competitor that already has, you know, a wealth of experience in the uh, down in the Southwest, as I mentioned, has competed in championship wrestling from Arizona. And 
you know, somebody that right down your alley, Blake, really puts an emphasis, although we're seeing her grappling expertise right now, uh, a very prolific striker is Bryn Thorne. Yeah, we haven't seen her strike yet, but she has been doing a fantastic job of grappling here in her last matchup against Viva Van. Both these girls have been slinging out offense and countering and recountering each other. This has been a great matchup thus far. If they do elect to go to stand-up exploits here, guys, we could see some real fireworks because, of course, in the past, we've heard of Chanel can go from sweet to psycho in a, in a, in a flick of a switch, and she's got great kickboxing expertise. So we, we have the makings of a great stand-up war, though we've seen great grappling. There we go. Nice body kick there by Thorne. Yeah, we saw a lot of grappling early on in this matchup, but both girls, or Bryn so far has been throwing some strikes out. I'd imagine CeCe's going to start slinging her own very soon. Full head of steam here by Bryn Thorne. Nice forearm. Nowhere to go but down. I think just the, the uh, corner holding up Chanel at this point. Measuring is Thorne, but nice ankle pick there. By Chanel. Telegraphed it a little bit too much there, and now she's working the straight ankle lock here. If she's able to get under the ankle a little more and really hip in. Wait oh, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, no! She's got that oh! equalizer! Oh, what a shot! Echoed off the walls! It looks like it hit Bree in the knee as well. Both these girls. I mean, she caught Cece flush with that wood and now just holding her down, strangling her with it. You might be right, Brent Thorne worse for wear as well. It might have been from that leg lock Cece had. Look at this. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, no, Thorne, are you kidding me? What is this? Making a deal with the, with the devil here? Why? Oh no, these are gonna be an absolute nightmare for Chanel. Whoa! The equal opportunity assassin going after Thorne and, and Viva Van. What Ru is going on? Ruby Ray's clearing house, getting rid of Viva Van and Bryn Thorne. I, I don't know whose side anybody's on at this point, but we haven't seen Ruby Ray's in quite some time. Oh no. Well, I might have wanted to just clear people out to get a shot at Chanel. These two have been uneasy in an uneasy alliance in the past. And, and look at this. Oh, extending her hand. One hand behind her What's back. What's going on here? Whoa! Hold on, Ruby, what the hell? I saw you backstage, I assumed, I mean, my fault on that, I assumed you were with us. I assumed that you were part of our family here. But I, I could see that you're not gonna make your next move your best move. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a tag team match, all right? I am the matchmaker, we're making a tag team match. It's gonna be Ruby Rays and CC Chanel versus Viva Van and Bryn Thorne, all right? Maybe this will teach you not to stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Wow. Tag team match made for next week and Iovine saying he assumed that Ruby Rays would be on their side. Well, you know what happens when you assume. We'll be back with more on Championship Wrestling. All right, wrestling fans, John Roberts here alongside the Arizona State Champion, Ray Rosas. Now, Ray, in today's main event, you defend the Arizona State title against Honest John. But before we get to that, what's going on with you and Keita Murray? After your match uh, with, with Darwin Finch, we saw him come down to ringside. What's the story here? You know, with Keita's appearance, it made a lot of sense. A lot of things started to click with me because for the past couple weeks, I've, I've been dealing with a lot of emotional trauma, like the physical aspect of everything that Dan Joseph had done to me had gone away after a few days, but it's the emotional trauma that he had given to me. Now that stuck with me. And I was in a very bad place. I was in a lot of emotional despair until I got a package in the mail with some fresh wrestling tights and a note that said, remember who you are. And it clicked. It clicked in my head. I do remember who I am. I'm Ray Rosas, the Arizona state champion. And for Dan, Dan Joseph, 10 years, people have been trying to do what you tried to do, and that's put me out. And you are not going to be able to do it, because you know what? I'm Ray Rosas, and Dan Joseph, Honest John, and the rest of the locker room, you're going to know Ray Rosas is here to stay. Ray Rosas defends the Arizona State title in today's main event. We'll be right back. Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling tonight. It all goes down at the Wrestle Center. It's Memphis Wrestling Saturday night, 
live. Join us as we crown our first ever Memphis Tag Team Champions. Plus, we have a loaded night of action. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Bell time is 7 p.m. Then, tomorrow, June 20th, watch WWE Hell in a Cell with us absolutely free at Dave and Buster's in Memphis. Plus, you'll get a free game card. June 26th, WWE alumni Swoggle is headed to Commerce Street Market in Hernando for a free day of Memphis wrestling. Five big matches, plus enjoy Mem Pops, Two Buck Grilled Cheese Truck, live music, and the best deals in town. Our next live TV taping is July 11th, and tickets are available at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Dave and Buster's is the coolest place to eat, drink, play, and watch WWE Hell in a Cell. Join us Sunday, June 20th. It's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free game card. That's Dave and Buster's Wolf Chase. It's time for the Pro Shingles Slam of the Week. Smart move by a little bit. Ducking, but DDT! They call her Dirty Diana Taylor. One. Two, three, and that's it! Save $500 on a complete roof replacement. 901-258-6503. Big opportunity for Honest John, who has kind of seemingly found himself on the outs with Howdy Price as of late. Yeah, you know, early on in, the, in their relationship here, maybe maybe hitting a little bit of a rough patch. Honest John coming out uh, by his lonesome. Yeah, you uh, maybe, know maybe he stole uh, Howdy Price's car keys. Yeah, the Price Tag Ranch always shows up with at least a few members. I wonder why Honest John is out here. You can tell something might be going on with the Price Tag Ranch members and Honest John. I'm sure he'll be welcome back with open arms if he wins the Arizona State Championship. Here you see the champion, Ray Rosas. Good to see a smile on his face and having some fun because things have been certainly tumultuous for him. But we heard the words of Ray Rosas saying that he, re he received these tights in the mail, you know, anonymous, and uh, a, a note that said, remember who you are. And Ray Rosas showing some real fire heading into this title defense. Although again, no physical title presence. Yeah, no physical title present because of what Dan Joseph did. And we, we saw Ray Rosas in his return. You know, he did get the victory, but looked maybe a little unsure of himself at times, a little rocky to start in his return, and he's going to need all of it against Honest John. Here to set the stage, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Arizona State Championship. Introducing first the challenger from the hills of Pomp and Sump. Weighing in at 181 pounds, Honest John! I love you, baby! Be mine. And introducing his opponent from Antelope Valley, weighing in at 201 pounds, he is the Arizona State Champion, Ray Rosas! Stage is set, Arizona State title on the line. And you mentioned it, you know, Ray Roses, the uh, Arizona State champion, recently returned to action after being on the shelf with an injury at the hands of Dan Joseph. I gotta ask you as a fighter, Blake, what's it like? You know, certainly as, as, as uh, James said, Ray didn't seem quite sure of himself, especially when attempting to go on the top rope. When you return from an injury, what's it do to your psyche? You know, there's two different parts of returning from an injury. It's the physical ability of that injured segment to be able to perform, and the second and almost maybe more important part is the confidence in that segment to perform. We saw a lot of hesitation out of Ray in that last matchup, and you got to wonder how he feels about his back going in there. Does he believe it's 100%? Is it 100%? The only person who knows is Ray Rosas, and I think we are going to continue to find out more as we watch him compete. Off that stage, man. I'm not 
Yeah, perhaps an even greater threat than, uh, you know, a physical injury, you know, that that um, mental lack of confidence can just yeah. be crippling. The mental battle is, is where this could be won for Ray Rosas, but like you said, he got that note, says remember who you are. If Ray Rosas remembers who he is, he should be fine. I agree 100%, but in the last matchup with Darwin Finch, we saw him start a little bit slow. Here he was the first one to get off. He locked up that headlock. Honest Sean's fought his way out, but at least we're seeing Ray Rosas implementing offense early on in the matchup. Yeah, Ray Rosas was on his heels right from the start against Darwin Finch. And Honest John, you know, is a spirited competitor, so he can't afford to be slow out of the starting blocks, can Ray Rosas against Honest John. Yeah, Honest John is very athletic, too. I would say significantly more athletic than Darwin Finch is, but Darwin Finch was out maneuvering Ray Rosas early on. I would like to see Honest John try to use that athleticism to get around the, the champ or the former champion, Ray Rosas. Well, you're seeing it right here. And Honest John, the challenger, he, he does have great uh, grappling. He's got great explosive strength. We've seen him utilize that fisherman suplex throw. But uh, I don't know if he wants to get in a battle of, of move for move, hold for hold, chain wrestling with Rosas. Rosas running him over there. And the confidence seems to be running back through the veins of the Arizona State champion. And whoa, whoa, one whoa, step whoa, whoa. ahead of Honest John in that exchange. Yeah, yeah, Ray they, Rosas rocking and rolling early on. You're really seeing the experience in Ray Rosas' ability to predict some of Honest John's attacks before he does them and take advantage. After that, you know, Honest John came out here and his entrance said, I love you, baby. I think he'll be saying it like the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, after that shark. A little bit more alto, perhaps, next time from Honest John. But, you know, it could, it could have been as simple for Ray Rosas as uh, just the layoff, you know, the time away, the need to work out the, uh, the rust a little bit. And then you see Honest John with an equalizer, thumb to the eye. Battling, battling back here is Honest John, champion versus challenger. Next week, huge women's division tag team main event. Viva Van, Bryn Thorne taking on CeCe Chanel and the equal opportunity assassin. The future of the women's division will, will really hinge perhaps on that battle. Nice reversal by the champion. Leapfrog showing some speed. And Rosas looks to be in form here. Takes him down, famous or rocker dropper call it what you will call it effective, almost picks up the victory. I was about to call it over, that was very close. Ray Rosas looking great night and day from the, you know his return matchup here now, putting on the headband of Honest John. Rosas. You know, it's about time somebody took something from Honest John. Oh, He's been taking here we it. go though, oh, this is gonna be interesting here guys. A lot of trepidation last time. Yeah, you can see he's closing. He's think, he is thinking again. about it. There is a lot of hesitation and questioning, maybe self-doubt going through Ray Rosa's head right now. Boy, mentally preparing himself. Again, he was launched off the stage in the end of the ring. Then that road case, he, he's had some issues. Oh! He didn't hit the elbow last time, and it's the second consecutive time that Rosas hasn't hit one of his signature maneuvers. He who hesitates is lost, costing Ray Rosas yet again. Honest John gonna capitalize. Man, you really gotta wonder, is Ray Rosas back at 100% or is he just not confident it's at 100%? What, what a neck breaker, the challenger in control. Will he make history into the cover, into the cover? Rosas survives, we'll be back. Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling tonight. It all goes down at the Wrestle Center. It's Memphis Wrestling Saturday night live. Join us as we crown our first ever Memphis Tag Team Champions. Plus, we have a loaded night of action. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Bell time is 7 p.m. Then tomorrow, June 20th, Watch WWE Hell in a Cell with us absolutely free at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Plus, you'll get a free game card. June 26th, WWE alumni Swoggle is headed to Commerce Street Market in Hernando for a free day of Memphis wrestling. Five big matches, plus enjoy Mempops, Two Buck Grilled Cheese Truck, live music, and the best deals in town. Our next live TV taping is July 11th, and tickets are available at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Dave & Buster's is the coolest place to eat, drink, 
play and watch WWE Hell in a Cell. Join us Sunday, June 20th. It's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free game card. That's Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. Memphis Wrestling is headed to Hernando, Mississippi for Summer Showdown at Commerce Street Market. Meet and watch former WWE star Swoggle. Hey guys, former WWE superstar Horn Swoggle here, June 26th. The Commerce Street Market, Memphis Wrestling, I'm going to be there. Come on out, it's absolutely free. Free! Free wrestling. Come on out, come say hey, watch some awesome wrestling. We'll see you June 26th. It's free! Tonight, Nature Boy Ric Flair and Car Shield team up against the expensive Car Repair Brothers for the championship belt. Woo! Love you go on record and say Nature Boy and Car Shield will eliminate expensive car repairs when you're the greatest alive, the heavyweight champion, and have Car Shield as your partner, you can't lose. Woo! Expensive car repairs? Ric Flair and Car Shield are coming for you. Woo! Car Shield cars go farther. Call 800-952-1286. Welcome back, everyone, to our main event, Arizona State Championship on the line. Ray Roses finding himself. Ray Roses looked great. Finds himself in a heck of a fight, though. And again, it was his inability to get up to that top rope in a timely fashion that has cost him here. Guys, what do you make of it? If you can't commit to it, why, you, you should stay away from the high-risk neighborhood. It's now cost Ray Rosas in two straight matchups. He has not been able to get back on track since. I agree with Jimbo on that. He's Not only is he going into the high-risk place to be choked by Honest John, trying to choke the life out of Ray Rosas there, but not only is it a dangerous place for him to be, but if it fails, he's in a terrible spot. It takes a huge amount of time. He does not have the time to question himself when he's going up there to the top rope. Rosas hit those turnbuckles at breakneck speed and honest john taking advantage here boy i'll tell you honest john is tough he finds a way to stay in big high profile matchups no doubt about it he might be a con man but he is a really really tough competitor spirited as i said before and he is showing it right now and god what a I mean, it would be such a prize for Howdy Price and company if Honest John were to bring home that Arizona State Championship. Really well versed when it comes to the suplex. I, I agree with you. And right now, the entire body of Roses is hurting. The back, which has had issues, the, you know, his chest as well from hitting those turnbuckles. Right now, Blake, the body of the champion is a roadmap of pain. 100%. And you can see Honest John targeting it. He just stomped there. He's been doing several attacks. Here he's just cranking Ray Rosa's neck, which is going to have an impact on the lower back as well. The entire spine acts as a single unit. So Honest John's doing a fantastic job of attacking the neck and low back of an injured Ray Rosas. Oh, Honest John took a little bit too much time making fun of the pain of Ray Rosas, and now he's the one suffering for it. Yeah, this time, that time hesitation worked in Ray Rosa's favor, but it's not often that it's going to be making that same oh, mistake. Right back down again goes Ray Rosas in a tremendous amount of pain, rolling out to the ring apron. Yeah, that kitchen. midsection is, is not doing too well for Ray Rosas. Yeah, kitchen sink knee. I mean, it's got to be tough to get a breath for Rosas. And now looking to add to it, baseball slide drop kick. Rosas, the champion, out to the outside. But Honest John has to be leery about this. He cannot win the title out there. Yeah, that was like getting hit by a battering ram right there. It launched Ray Rosas off the curtain. I mean, mentally, though, Ray Rosas yes. is right where his sort of final resting place was when he was facing off with Dan Joseph. I wonder what that is maybe conjuring up in his psyche right now. There's got to be some big-time bad deja vu for Ray, Ray Rosas. Ray is struggling to get to his feet right now. I'm not sure he's going to make this count. Well, if Honest John is smart and wants that hot commodity in the Arizona State Championship, he can't get it by count out. Yeah, but Honest John, I think, wants the high ground. Second man in the ring there, always at a disadvantage. Honest John taking advantage. He knew the integrity, the drive of Roses would will Roses to find a way back into that ring, and Honest John taking advantage of it. In control. Oh, my God. God, what a shot from Ray Rosas, buying himself a little bit of breathing room. Yeah, when guys are hurt, sometimes they just throw everything they have into a strike, and that landed flush for Ray Rosas. Bought him a little bit of time. Honest John's been able to counterattack, but at least Ray Rosas has been had a little more time to survive and get his wits together. Yeah, you talk about landed flush, though. That boot by Honest John landed flush, and then applying more pressure. Here we see the drop kick, nowhere to go but down for Rosas. That throat uh, you hung out to dry there over the rope. I mean... 
Honest John is really taking the champ to task right now. It's all the challenger, guys. You can't deny it. That yeah. was a big drop kick to the thoracic spine of Ray Rosas there. He is eating a lot of damage to that back. Ray needs to start landing oh. some strikes. There it is. Oh, right on cue. Big super kick. Thunderous super kick by the champ from out of nowhere. Yeah, Honest John was feeling himself. Maybe got a little bit too cute. Ray Rosas made him pay. And this time, Ray Rosas actually getting some breathing room. Last time, Honest John able to follow up. Not after a kick like that, though. Yeah. Both competitors down. Honest John thought he pulled a slick one on Ray Rosas, but Ray's veteran experience had him ready for it. He saw it coming and landed that super kick, putting Honest John on his back. Honest John might think he know thinks he knows every trick in the book, but the thing is, Ray, Ray uh, wrote a lot of them. He did several <laughs> chapters in that book, no doubt about oh. it. Ray Rosas looking to get rolling. Wow, sequencing together several big attacks, finishing with a slam. Cover Good after job. the exploder suplex, almost puts him away. Getting ever so close is the champion. I gotta ask you this, Blake. You know, does it, when you're a champion and you're defending a title without, you know, the physical jewelry, as you would say, I mean, what would that do to you as a champion? You know, to be honest, I think a champion is what's inside you and not what's around your waist. And we have seen the champion that is inside Ray Rosas many, many times here on the United Wrestling Network. So I don't think it's going to have any effect whether it's there around his waist or not. Oh, oh wow. He, he was looking for that smash and dash, but he took a little too much time. And Honest John firing out of the corner like he got fired out of a cannon and it'll send shockwaves through the United Wrestling Network if Honest John wins the Arizona State title. He's applying heavy pressure here. Oh, wow. and down for Ray Rose. This could be all right in the midsection. Tiger Bomb, cover, whoa, my wow. goodness. Oh, I saw <laughs> Adnan Qureshi had his hand on the hammer. He was about to ring that bell. Nobody more surprised than Honest John. He thought he was the new Arizona State Champion. Now he's freaking out in the ring. He's got to keep capitalize on Ray Rosas if he wants to be the champ for real. Yeah, you want to beat Rosas, you can't steal a victory here. You're going to have to earn it. That's for certain. Man, after hitting Ray with a shot like that, you got to wonder, what do I got to do to put this guy away? Slingshot. Wow. Into the, there we go, a little uh, turnabout's fair play. Now it's Rosas using the ropes, using his environment as a weapon. Yeah, coming back and landing those double knees to the thoracic spine of Honest John. Big slam here, transitioning around. What are we going to see, another big slam? Pump handle. It might be time for the bed of Rosas. Oh, there it is. Wow. And we saw this against Finch, then he locked this in. I'm told that he calls this the Stingray. This new wrinkle in his offense, the submission. Wow. Oh. Tap City. Here is your winner, and still, Arizona State Champion, Ray Rosas. What a gutsy title defense there by Ray Rosas. Getting Putting back up, on track. Yeah, getting back on track, showing that confidence, showing that fire. Next week, we switch gears, huge women's tag team main event. We'll see you when, once again, it's time to fight on.